Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to show you the way I use to remove all the rust from your litter tank on the Virago 1100. Coming right up. Okay guys, like the intro said, we are going to clean this tank out. It's uh, very rusty inside as you can see. These are the flakes uh, came out uh, from the tank. Uh, I'm going to put up some put up a, a short video about uh, looking inside with the uh, endoscope camera. I can't I can't get around this I can't get around this corner unfortunately because uh, because of the the shape of the tank I couldn't I couldn't get inside. So that's that's a bit of a shame. I'm gonna put it on the screen now while, while I'm talking is gonna is gonna go uh, so what we're gonna do uh, first uh, the way I do this is it might not work for you because uh, I only can recommend this to do on a good condition tank don't use it on a on the tank where you might have a, a weak area or uh, you, you, su you suspect that the maybe the seam is leaking or anything like that because uh, we're going to use an acid uh, not for long uh, a short period of time but it's still an acid and uh, I just want to make sure you don't uh, blow through any any little hole so inspect your tank first uh, before you put that acid in which is going to be phosphoric acid this is the phosphoric acid. This is 85%. Uh, uh, this one is. So we're going to use distilled water, which is in this tank, and uh, we're going to dilute it uh, quite well. Uh, so probably I'm going to use like only like half of this, or maybe even less. Uh, the big flakes like this one, these ones, uh, I tend to get it out with the rubber rubber hammer. Just uh, hit hit the tank on the hard points, well hard points like uh, strong points which is like uh, where you have a curve this is a weak point in the middle but here is quite quite tough so you can hit it there yeah just give it a couple of hits here and there to, to loosen up any any loose big flakes uh, flakes of rust in there and uh, we're gonna try to try to get them out Let's hear it. You might not hear it, I will try to amplify it, but I can hear the rust uh, and luckily we can get it out. Look. So just keep doing this until you have fairly uh, fairly good a rust flake free tank and then I'll show you uh, the acid. So we're gonna use, uh, I decided to use 100 mil and uh, see what the results is gonna be. There you go. Always uh, put the acid into the water not the other way around. Uh, it's just uh, better if you used to it to do that way if you're working with any acid in your, uh, any any time because uh, that's that's the way to do it because you could uh, cause uh, a reaction if you put the water into the acid so we're gonna put some water here i do like one and a half okay so we're gonna use that funnel and i use an old i use the old uh, petrol pipe to seal up the bottom so we can fill it up all the way all the way to the top and then we're gonna hold it like this uh, so that's the highest point here so there's 1.6 liter in I put a little bit more acid in <sighs> changed my mind so I'm gonna put like 50 ml, 200 ml of water, put the acid in there. And then keep filling it up. So that's another 250. Oops. Okay, it's coming out on the small one. It started coming out from there. Okay, so that's where we are right now. So that's all the way up. 
you see and that is like nearly and then we're gonna leave it I don't know it's quite diluted the the acid is so I'm gonna leave it leave it I don't know 20 minutes see see how it looks like so I'll be back in 20 minutes so it's been about 15 minutes or so so I'm gonna drain it and then we're gonna have a look Well, I have to say, it's bad. <laughs> okay, let's have a look then. Yeah, I can definitely see improvement there. And there. I can't really go. I can't go a little bit more down. That would be nice. So anyway, still roasted hair. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna use the whole amount of uh, acid and just try again. Also, the bottom here looks a lot better. The bottom, then the top because the the acid didn't touch it there but it's definitely an improvement okay so I, what I did now is so I put a little water in not much about 100 200 ml put the rest of the the acid is acid in as well and what I'm trying to do now is just uh, shaky shaky so I've got about half a litre stuff in there, probably a bit more and I'm just shaking it around holding these holes uh, closed get it, get it down this end as well and just shake it around okay and then I'm gonna keep shaking it. So basically, this is what I'm doing. Uh, a little bit more uh, concentrated. So that uh, how much was it? 150, 150 ml to to about 1.6, 1.7 liters of water seems to be maybe a little bit too thin. Uh, it's done now. I emptied it, I emptied it out, and this is what it came back. And uh, I'm gonna just spray some WD-40 in there and uh, move it all around then kind of clear it, clean it out with uh, petrol it's a quite long process to do this unfortunately there is no no quick way I'm gonna wash it out with petrol and then I'm gonna come back I'm gonna put the camera inside again make a couple of photos and video I'll be back in a minute so I cleaned it with WD-40 and then with some petrol and I think the results are pretty good uh, here at the at the entry is is not the best I think the, uh, here was a lot of rust but it, it did a fairly good job uh, let me just show you okay but inside there look it's nearly spotless right so this is what this stuff does uh, see that ah, I'll try to show you see them black black dots those were the rust rust dots and uh, what this phosphoric acid does is turns the roast which is iron oxide and turns it into iron sulfate uh, which is not rust anymore and also uh, this is basically a, a protective coat because it, it will not rust uh, again uh, inside there so that's that's pretty good uh, I can't the camera is too long the other the camera is I can't, can't bend it I'm gonna put up some comparison photos 
so you can see it's not yellow anymore. Pretty good results. And the good thing is about this iron sulfate or whatever, it doesn't react with petrol. So once it's stuck to that metal there, it's going to stay there. And uh, yeah, we're done. No more rust. So yeah, that's it for this video, uh, guys. And uh, this is how I clean the rust out of the small tank. And uh, obviously you can use this for the, for the big one. Uh, this is just, this is not fully finished. I'm gonna tidy it up, but this is just to show you the idea uh, how I do it and what's involved in, in this process. So, thank you very much.